beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful twin flame reading i do hope you're well and you're staying focused believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing that unexplainable love that's within you so i'm bringing in the sacred forest oracle deck for this reading to see what the current energies are for twin flames and how these energies are supporting you beautiful soul that's watching i will get messages from your other self from your twin flame to see what's to be expressed in this energy today and, and at the end of the reading i'm going to get a message from god from the universe higher power whatever word resonates with you to give you some support and guidance about your journey which will give you the strength to keep moving forwards remaining in your truth trusting yourself so let's see what's going on um so you could be picking up on already the full moon in scorpio energy which is taking place on April 23rd and Scorpio is uh, water energy so you could be feeling emotional um, and around the moon cycles the new moon or the full moon we do feel things so much more um, and that is for a reason because it's opportunities for us to, to address those things that are highlighted at that time um, and it's you know an opportunity to work through fear um, those lower energies that may be revealing themselves at that time. We are coming into Taurus season, which is an earth energy as well. Yeah, so lots of shifts are happening. And we do find ourselves having physical symptoms around the moon cycles as well. So make sure you do take good care of yourself. And I will be doing a reading for the full moon in Scorpio. So make sure you look out for that. So what are the current energies for Twin Flames? And how are these energies supporting the beautiful soul that is watching? Nice, clear message. What's coming through? Beauty. Seeing the beauty within yourself. <laughs> Connecting with that beauty that is within you. And because of that, you're seeing the beauty... <laughs> of this world just seeing the world for what it really is being in your truth and we've got the full moon coming through here as well and it's number 52 which is all about pure intentions because it adds up to seven five is movement and change and two is partnership coming together working with god not doing this by yourself so you could be spending some time out in nature and you know really taking in the beauty of nature and we've got this beautiful lady here this beautiful woman angel that is wearing this white dress as well so this is about you really being in your pure true essence just feeling and, and, and this beautiful angel is very relaxed very open calm with the wood nymph um so that's absolutely amazing feeling beautiful connecting with your true self of who you are um, and you're taking everything in and thicket of thorns walking away from this uncertainty and it's number 43 which is seven again so you could be seeing the sevens at the moment four is building on solid foundation and three is having strong faith and you have had strong faith through this uncertainty and that's been going on you know you felt as if you've been in this darkness is uncertain about what's ahead of you you've trusted and you've had faith that everything is working out for you and you've been moving forwards no matter what has been going on in your life moving towards the light because you found that love that light that beauty that is within you you're seeing the beauty in everything all situations as well and we've got the transformation coming through with um, the butterflies i'm not sure if you can see that on your screen um, but we've got the blue butterfly at the top, which is all about throat chakra activation. We've got the yellow butterfly, which is about solar plexus act activation. And we've got the root chakra as well. Um, and yeah, this is just showing that you've been showing up for yourself and you're, you're moving forwards. You're moving towards the light. You're coming out of this uncertainty. And you're feeling so much more stronger through the darkness, through the uncertainty, because you found so much strength. So you found so much out about yourself in the darkness. 
Um, so absolutely wonderful. Let's see what else is coming through. And Forest of Temple Enlightenment. Yeah, and it's number 19, which adds up to 10 completion. End of a cycle. One is alignment. Nine is near end of a cycle. Um, so and you're, you've had this enlightenment in the uncertainty, in the darkness. You've learned so much. Um, you've had those them times where you you know everything just make it does actually make sense because you've been forced to drop down into your heart space to see everything through the eyes of love <laughs> to be in this love energy of who you truly are um so lots of yeah and you could have been you could be finding out lots of you know information um that's that's helping you um understand on a deeper level of what has been going on in the uncertainty but you're you're creating this stability because you're expressing yourself with truth you're dealing with the fear with the solar plexus because that's where we hold the fear um yeah so all of that is is really been going on for you beautiful soul that's watching and this is renewal yeah you can't make it up and it's number 20 which is about partnership Moving forwards towards the light, because you found the strength, the beauty, the love that is within you, and you you feel this love, this warmth from God, from the universe, from higher power, because you can see the sun is coming through the trees. Huh. You're feeling this love from God, from higher power, and renewal, you're just feeling this new, fresh energy. Huh. You're, you're feeling ready. For the next part of your journey because everything does make sense because you're in your heart space it's a big heart chakra activation what's coming through and that's what's been going on big time in the eclipse season as well so i'm going to see what's going to come through with the divine feminine energy and i'm going to get messages um to the divine masculines through this as well so i'm going to bring in divine feminine message tarot from beautiful liz from guided by angels and then I'm going to tap into the Divine Masculine energy. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're male or female that's watching. It doesn't matter if you're a Divine Feminine or a Divine Masculine. All I'm speaking about is energy. I'm not talking about gender. And you do have the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine energy that is within you, beautiful soul. Because this is come, you know, this energy that was showing up today, it's showing that you're, you, you've been balancing those energies that are within you. Your, your Divine Feminine divine masculine energy within you has been supporting you know you, you, you <laughs> um that's given you the strength to work through these uncertain times to keep moving forwards out of the darkness not just to hold back you've been so brave and courageous and everything is looking so bright and beautiful for you with this renewal as well you're embracing every moment you're being in your grace just going with the flow, no matter what is going on, because you have strong faith in yourself and in God. What's going on with the divine feminine energy, and what is the, what is it the divine feminine would love to share and express to the divine masculine energy? Nice, clear message, please. Ten of Wands, which is completion again. I'm ready to let go of the burden of others. Yeah, I'm ready to let go of the burdens. The things that were getting me down. <laughs> I'm no longer putting my energy into situations and people that I'm no longer aligned with. I'm protecting my energy. I'm making healthy boundaries um, because it, it used to exhaust me. It used to drain me so much. Taking things personally, being offended by others. And being in certain people's energies, it was just, I knew it was no good for me. And I've, I've put an end to that. Um, so that's absolutely amazing. Divine Feminine's feeling strong and regaining so much strength because of the decisions of moving away from certain people and not taking other people's burdens on board. Um, because, you know, you could be, if you're a Divine Feminine that is watching... And this is, a, remember, this is the Divine Feminine energy that's within you, um, if you're a Divine Masculine. It could have been taking a lot of time of you trying to fix and sort other people's problems out. 
and now you're giving this energy back to you beautiful soul so i'm finding my place in the world yeah by everything that's going on for me i'm finding my place in the world um learning so much about myself and judgment i no longer care what people think it's what i think that matters so yeah there's a lot going on to do with other people so recently you could have had a lot of uh, nerve-wracking conversations where the things have had to be expressed you in your truth or you've been making decisions that you know you can't do what you used to do what you used to to give to other people and again you're deciding what's meant for you and you know that it doesn't matter what anybody else says what anybody else does all that matters is is your energy and how you feel about yourself and that you're on your side that's your priority divine feminines and this is what the divine feminine energy wants to express to the divine masculine giving up this judgment of self we don't realize how much we do judge ourselves, and that's why we come across um frustrated at times or we're, we're irritated or somebody we take things personally from other people because we're actually judging ourselves all the time putting ourselves down i'm feeling creative and passionate about my goals yeah i'm going for my dreams and desires i'm not holding myself back because i'm no longer giving my energy to others and i'm not taking things so personally what other people think of me i'm making peace with myself and being on my own side and this is what the divine feminines want the divine masculines to know and remember this is what your feminine energy is within you beautiful soul that's watching so let's see what comes through for the divine masculine energy so i'm going to use liz's deck as well for this from guided by angels divine masculine message tarot so what is it the Divine Masculine Energy would love to share and express to the Divine Feminine Energy? What's going on with the Masculine Energy? Nice clear message. That one flipped out under the tripod. Okay. Queen of Wands, which we had for the Divine Feminines at the bottom of the deck. You're everything I could ever want. You're everything I could ever want. Divine Feminine. And I'm coming for you because we've got fire energy coming through with the wands which is aries sagittarius and leo feeling this passion about you divine feminine i can't believe that you're real you're everything i have ever wanted so let's see what else wants to come through six of wands which is victory i'm becoming confident in myself because i because of our connection because of what I've learned by you coming into my life, Divine Feminine. Action again with this uh, fire energy. The full, I'm ready to change and preparing to take the leap of faith. There you go. How wonderful is that? And that is why this energy has come through today for Twin Flames. Because of the balance that is within you. The Divine Feminine relaxing, um, nurturing themselves. And the Divine Masculine is feeling secure about taking actions because the nurturing from the divine feminine um and they're, they're ready that they're, they feel strong enough to take that leap of faith to get things done um because they know what they want because you're everything you answer all of their dreams <laughs> everything that they've ever wanted in life you are beautiful divine feminine and four of swords i'm working out what i want and that, that which is healing energy four of swords and the divine masculine energy within you is healing and it's really stepping up and during the time of them healing is when they've really worked out what they want from life what it is they actually want to achieve in their life without the old program the conditioning just being free to think you know can i i can actually do this i can actually achieve this and i'm safe to have my divine feminine so that's what I've been doing, working out what I really want through different experiences, um, different situations that I've been put in. But I'm feeling so much stronger because I've had this time of healing. I'm ready for this change and I'm taking this leap of faith. I'm becoming confident in myself because I'm in my truth. And it's all through this connection of us coming together. And you are my everything. So for the messages from God from the universe, the angels, what I'm going to bring in is the Twin Flame Power Oracle deck. 
to see what is it you need to know about your journey and the support and the guidance that you need to know uh, right now to help you keep moving forwards but this is beautiful energy anyway um, really showing up for yourself beautiful soul that's watching because of this alignment with the divine masculine divine feminine energy that is within you so what's going on for your journey right now what is the support and the guidance nice clear message please what is it god universe our power wants you to know I can't believe it can you everything is balancing itself out you're doing it beautiful soul that's watching it's number 44 which is adding up to eight, which is infinity and abundance. And we're in the year of the eight as well. And four is about building on the solid foundation, creating from this place of unconditional love. Hmm. Both the divine masculine and the divine feminine are feeling this balance, feeling so much stronger, feeling this stability. Because you've got what, rid of what no longer serves you. Because you've allowed everything to crumble down. Because you've been brave and courageous to face that lower energy that's within you. To face your fears. You've allowed yourself to feel. Not to be afraid. Hmm. And to the bottom of the deck is perception. You've changed your perception. And it's number 13 which adds up to four again. So four, four, four coming through as well in this reading. And... One is alignment, three is having strong faith. Your perception is completely changed. And because you're feeling so much more balanced, you're seeing things with truth. You're seeing things through the eyes of love because you're in your heart space. You're showing up for yourself and feeling grounded. You're feeling you've come out of survival mode. <laughs> That you don't have to work so hard. You don't have to fight. You're relaxing and working with God, with the universe. And this is what's going on for you on your journey right now. And if you're feeling a bit sort of like whew, up and down, it's because things are balancing themselves out, these energies. So this is absolutely amazing. You should be so proud of yourself for creating this stability. And the stability comes from the love for yourself and your perception, how you're seeing things. So thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. I do hope that this does resonate with you and I hope that you're really giving this praise to yourself <laughs> because you've come so far. You should be so proud of yourself. Um, and if you would like support on your awakening journey, on your Twin Flame journey, I am offering readings and one-to-one -one sessions, but everything you do need to know about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And most importantly, remember to stay focused, to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, the unexplainable love that's within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See you. What's your soul saying? Oh.